before I cover it up with sinew, I thought I'd show you what's underneath the underneath the sinew layer of a Turkish composite. Uh, it's made of maple, and the grip in this one is elm. But as you can see, the back is also grooved, just to increase the um, the surface area. And this one has like 60 degree triangles going into the the surface. So that actually doubles the surface area. And so the adhesion is double, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know how important this is, but it's something that can be seen on the original bows as well. Um, so this is just after scraping in the these grooves. And uh, I will right away now, after filming this, I will start sizing it because it's quite important to start sizing it right away because the surface oxidizes and then the glue will not stick as well. It's all about stickage. <laughs> These bows are basically just glue with some wood and horn and sinew, of course. But if the glue fails, the bow fails. And there the camera doesn't want to focus anymore. Um, the bow that rests here on the pegboard is a <laughs> it's uh for now it is 15 millimeters times 32 which should estimate it to something like 150 pounds i guess or maybe more actually um maybe it'll work maybe it won't <laughs> anyways i like these grooves they're kind of fun to make not so fun to focus on i guess but there <laughs> and they go all along and of course on the glue side on the other side of the this wood there is also the same grooves then for gluing the gluing the horn like like in this one this has been sized well okay bye bye <laughs>